Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Project Wendy DVD special feature. Kate, Lindsay, and I will be answering some of your questions that you sent in for us, and we will start off with a question that a lot of the people ask. How did you come up with Project Wendy? Uh, what what started Project Wendy? And I think this question is probably more, more for Kate, so I will let her answer first. Kate, how did Project Wendy start? Yeah, sure. So, hi, everyone. This is Kate. I'm the the culprit behind the Loki is my co-pilot account. So, basically, what happened was in June, I placed an order with We Love Fine. And uh, when I received that order, in the package was a black felt mustache that said We Love Fine on the back. So, I went on Twitter and I asked a question of the fandom in general and, and copied Hiddle's Army and sort of asked, um, you know, did anyone else place an order with we, we Love Fine and, and get one of these mustache pins? There were a couple, I think one or two responses. So um, Hiddle's Army, Lindsay, and I started having a conversation at that point, and I sort of said, you know, man, wouldn't it be fun if we could all get together and, and try to get fans from around the world to take pictures of themselves, you know, wearing a Wendy and send them to Tom as, as some kind of, I don't know, as a representation of the kind of fans all over the world and just to see where everybody was. And, and I thought that would be really cool. So that was more or less how it started. We didn't expect to get as many photos in as we did, which brings us to the next question. What's the most interesting picture you received? Kate, if you want to give the first answer on that. Um, there are many interesting pictures, but what's what's your favorite? Goodness. Um I spent a fair amount of time laying the book out, so I got to see a lot of these pictures. Uh, but I will say, I think my favorite, it's actually not maybe one photo, but a series of photos, and it was submitted by someone, and, and it's in the um, what we call in the book the stealth ops section. But in this section, there's a series of photos that are all clearly from an extended family. She got her whole extended family to wear Wendy's to take photos. And basically, it's, so what's funny about it is the same Wendy is this big, black, bushy mustache that gets passed around from grandpa to grandma to the nephew to brothers and sisters and little kids and, you know, adults. And it's it's just really funny to see this whole family with their very silly expressions wearing the same mustache that got passed around. So I just I just love that series. Anyway. Lindsay, what would be your favorite out of those? Um, <laughs> well, it's a little more hard for me because I, I guess I haven't had a chance to look through all of the photos. There was one where um, a group of people took pictures in front of the White House. <laughs> and I mean, and that's just, I mean, if you really think about that, that's just pretty pretty cool, you know? Yeah. That that whole page, like, of them in those photos, there's one girl who was, like, posing on the fence. And they just, it was a really cute photo set. And um, I think that was definitely one of my favorites. Amber? Oh, goodness. If I had to pick a favorite, it's it's really difficult because there were so many great ones. Um, I'm tempted to say the one with Slender Man in the background because that one just, it still makes me laugh. I love that somebody drew him in. Um, even Slender Man <laughs> loves Tom. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I, I, I guess I would have to say one of my favorites was definitely the one where a bunch of people dressed up as the Avengers and all have mustaches on. So they've got, you know, all the Avengers and then and then regular Loki. And then you see yeah. in the background, like, in between the shapes of people, you know, you see Lady Loki, like, photobombing it. She doesn't even have a mustache on. She's just photobombing. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so great. All right. Um, next question is, what is your favorite memory or reaction you had to Project Wendy? Kate, I will let you take it away. I mean, the day of the Twitter flash mob obviously was fairly memorable. I don't know. It's hard to say if whether Tom's first tweet in response to Joel or, of course, the one in the afternoon, you know, where he actually tweeted his own photo. And that whole day, especially that latter part of the afternoon, is like this weird blur punctuated by moments of absolute clarity. So I'll leave it at that. I guess just the, the Twitter flash mob in general, of course, and then, yeah, I guess. One, one or both of Tom's tweets. I don't know which one. Yeah, those those pictures of his, you could just see the joy on his face, um, how happy he was. So I thought that was really cool, um, just to kind of make his day on that. Yeah, and I mean, and that was like sort of the goal 
to begin with is that we wanted to create that mass amount of positive energy and I think we definitely were able to accomplish that and it's, it's kind of hard to think of a moment that really beats that mm-hmm. that would have to be my favorite so <laughs> all right um next question and I, th- I think this question connects really well with that last one um what does project wendy mean to you kate what is what is what does project wendy mean to you so really, I just wanted to come up with a way to do something positive for the fans and for Tom. I mean, in some ways, it's frivolous and it's silly. It's all of those things, right? You know, it's silly. It's a silly thing. But at the same time, it's really hard not to smile when you're wearing a fake mustache. And it's really hard to take yourself seriously. And I think the kinds of interactions that were born out of that experience were were, were rather magical. People have made friendships that will outlast Project Wendy. At the end of the day, I guess what I want most is for Tom to be able to take that away is that that's something that that because of who he is, because of the kind of person he is. I think Kate really answered that perfectly. I mean, it's pretty much... At first, when the idea came to light, it was something that just seemed like it'd be fun to do, you know? Something to make everyone laugh. It's really amazing just how it turned out, you know? It's like... Project Wendy really is the Mad Hatter's tea party. It's kind of just all of this craziness thrown into something that um, became such a huge project that you and it really brought joy to a bunch of people. I mean, like like Kate said, we've we've made friendships that normally would not have been made had we not done this project. I, I think we I think all three of us really took away something special from it. Um, to, to me, I, I guess Project Wendy was the creation of a family, really. But I mean, it, yeah, we had a lot of fun with it. Um, but there were there were some hard times too, um, dealing with it. Which brings us to our last question: um, Was it hard to launch and organize uh, the whole thing, Project Wendy? And did you have times when you were just like, "We won't make it. This will never end," or find a way to Tom? I, I think this question is, is both easy and difficult to answer. Um, and Kate, I will let you have a first shot at that. Yeah, I mean, when I first had this idea and I approached Lindsay, a Hiddle's Army account, you know, I had, I think, less than 50 followers on Twitter. Um, I, you know, I was relatively new to the fandom on Twitter, certainly. It was very hard, and I mean, part of it was, you know, I, don't, I couldn't have done it without Lindsay, certainly, because I wouldn't have been able to get the word out there. You know, at the time, the, I think the day of the Twitter flash mob, we had less than a 200 submissions for the project. And then all of a sudden, you know, we had over 1,400 submissions, and that was just crazy. I guess in terms of, like, whether we'd make it, um, sure. I at one point asked Lindsay, you know, like, do you think we should postpone the flash mob? And she very sensibly talked me in from the ledge and, and said, you know, well, we've put out all this word. It's too much trouble to change it. Um, we'll just go ahead and do it. So we went ahead and did it. And, um, yeah, there you go. But even to this day, it's still doubts about, you know, until I have the book in my hands and until I'm able to deliver it. And, um, you know, it, it won't it won't rest easy. And then um, hopefully it'll have its um intended effect. Hopefully it'll be a good thing and received as a good thing. That about wraps up the, the questions for Project Wendy. Um, we couldn't get every single question in, but uh, we hope that you know you, you guys have been able to get some answers from this and realize that we we had a lot of fun making this project. I, I hate to do a shameless plug for this phrase, but you know, just keep loving our lives and and um, keep yeah, on love keep on life. trucking. Love your life, indeed. And, and certainly, I yeah, we hope, I hope that um, you folks and all the other fans, everybody out there who supported us and contributed photos and artwork and everything, just, you guys are, you guys are all kinds of awesome. And um, I hope that the end result doesn't disappoint you. I hope you get some enjoyment out of it. Because it is about you. It's all about you guys. So, so yeah. That's... All right. Yeah, I mean, it's really been a, it's been a huge blast. It really has been. It's been definitely worth it. All the work and everything. So, <laughs> mission accomplished. 